All right, guys, so one of you sent me this absolutely hilarious video from the Portland City Council meeting, and you wanted me to react to it. So I'm actually gonna do that because this is absolutely hilarious, right? If you guys didn't know, Portland is a city that is basically falling apart, okay? Uh, it, because it's being ran by progressives. And the progressives uh, want the criminals to run the asylum. And that is basically what has happened in Portland, right? So uh, recently, trolls have been coming into the Portland City Council meetings and basically giving them a little bit of a taste of their own medicine. And I find this to be absolutely hilarious. So without further ado, I'm actually just going to go ahead and react to the most recent troll job that happened at the uh, Portland City Council meeting. Request of Mohammed Atahaya to address council regarding Sanctuary City for refugees. Good morning, Mohammed. Hello, Mayor Tedwiller. I want to say <laughs> on behalf of Taliban that you are the best mayor in the United States of America. In other cities, law enforcement makes it tough for us to operate, but luckily in Portland, the mayor actually supports the right of Taliban. <laughs> Our experience in cities like New York and Los Angeles have been rife with law enforcement and governmental issues. But in Portland, we are able to distribute our poppy to the people of Portland. Currently, the number one place in America that we export all of our Afghani poppy is to Portland. As Taliban member, I promise to give the citizens of Portland the cleanest heroin known to men. <laughs> we understand that Pfizer has the vaccine taken care of so Thank you, Mayor Wheeler, for letting the Taliban tell us <laughs> copy to your people without getting in trouble. To all Bruh, this dude went all out, bro. This dude is in the middle of, I don't know, some random field, right? Pretending to be the Taliban. Talking about, I guess, it sounds like he's talking about exporting poppy seeds to, uh, <laughs> to Portland, right? And I think what he's trying to allude to here, what he's trying to troll the city of Portland about is the fact that they basically allow open drug use, okay? People just doing drugs out on the street, right? They don't really enforce any of their uh, laws against drugs, right? Specifically, hardcore drugs. I think that's why he referenced uh, heroin, okay? Allowing them to export heroin to the city of Portland without any consequences or anything like that because they're not enforcing anything, right? They're not enforcing any laws. All my other comrades that are watching this remember and you know is the worst person ever and portland is the only place where racism is no longer exist <laughs> you are able to sell your poppy or smoke your methamphetamine our park but your broken down car on the streets of our month at time without any interference Dylan, can we move to the next person i don't think we need to hit to sit here and listen to a racial parody um, this is deeply offensive and you should be ashamed this is absolutely racist behavior on your no you should actually be ashamed that your city is being ran by criminals okay that that's what you should actually be ashamed of here okay that's what you should be ashamed of because you've let antifa antifa run your city okay Antifa, thugs, criminals. But see, again, like all Democrats here, what, what they do is is that uh, they want to try to cry racism when it's something they don't like, right? They don't like the fact that they're being trolled, so he's calling it racist, right? This is racist, okay? Even though I don't think this is racist at all. All it is is that this guy is basically giving this city council a taste of their own medicine, reminding them about all the silly things and the lawlessness that they allow in their city. Shame on you. Next individual, please, item number 182. Request of Edward Lindsay to address council regarding violence in the city. Good morning, Edward. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, you sound good. Okay, so I just wanna say that Portland is the most beautiful city I've ever lived in. And I commend you for, I, I know it's stressful, you know, with these, you know, these right wingers are trying to infiltrate Portland. And, you know, I always think of Portland and Seattle, like as a city of art. And now, you know, these right wingers are trying to say, oh, well, people are spray painting stuff and they're burning cars up. Well, I look at it as art. 
<laughs> and that is not something to be ashamed of. It is a beautiful city. Hey, this is uh, Cassidy Campbell. Now, this guy, I, I know of him because he used to be in fitness, YouTube fitness, right? Um, so he used to do videos about fitness. But I think now his channel is like a, a reaction, like parody, like channel where he trolls people in public. Uh, <laughs> but he's basically trolling Portland on the fact that they've, again, allowed their city to be trashed by the woke revolutionaries uh, in the name of social justice, right? And then they try to make all type of excuses for it, right? Like they try to call um, uh, looting as reparations, right? Looting is reparations. It's not stealing. It's not taking from those uh, business owners stuff that doesn't belong to them. No, no, it's reparations, okay? Uh, so yeah, setting stuff on fire, right? Trash everywhere, all the things that are associated with the destructiveness of the left it's just art, man. It's just art, okay? That's what it is. It's art. These right-wingers don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're simply uh, overreacted to what is an ongoing art project, which is the Portland city. And, the, you know, the only way to end this Ukraine thing, I just want to speak on that because we've been talking about this, is if we can all do our part and get vaccinated, because <laughs> there are so many people that are still not vaccinated. My grandmother was 95 years old and she died because those around her refused to get vaccinated because they're science deniers and conspiracy theorists. They believe that it's some depopulation goal by Bill Gates. Why in the world would, sub would somebody spend that much money to get vaccines out? who is trying to hurt people. Bill Gates is a doctor and he is a medical professional. So why would somebody say something like that about him? It sickens me. So guys, if you're watching this, you need to go do your part and get the vaccine. And I don't know why Dr. Fauci isn't getting any media coverage because you know what? We should be praying for Ukraine and we should be getting vaccinated at the same time. I'm sickened that I had to go to Israel to get my fourth booster shot. And you know what? It is your social responsibility, city of Portland, United States of America, the entire world to do that. And you know what? My only regret, my only regret is that I could not stop <laughs> Brianna Taylor's killers. And we need to defend, <laughs> defund the police, not defend the police, because that would be disgusting. And you know what? I have seen. This dude is literally hitting every woke SJW talking point that he can't. Okay? And these people can't stand it. They can't stand it. <laughs> I mean, look at this woman right here. Look at this woman right here. She looks like she's one hit of a Hunter Biden crack pipe away from being in the grave. Okay? That's what she looks like. All right? I don't know what's going on here. She need to eat something. Okay? <laughs> but again, he's calling out all the woke stuff. He's calling out all the nonsense. Right? I think specifically when he's talking about Ukraine, when the Ukraine crisis first happened, when Russia first invaded Ukraine, there were literally people out here talking about how concerned they were that a certain portion of the Ukrainian population isn't vaccinated. Right? That's what I was concerned about. There was more concerned about COVID. They was concerned about the fact that a country, uh, Russia, had invaded Ukraine, right? They're, they're actually going to be in a war, right? There were people out here really virtue signaling about vaccines, okay? And these guys are basically being trolled by people that are acting like those people, right? And the reason why this trolling is so funny to me and it's, it's so important is because these city council members are getting a taste of their own medicine, right? They're getting trolled by people that are acting like the woke revolutionaries that they support and they can't stand it right they can't stand one second of this right they can't wait to get this guy off the line they can't wait okay but but they deserve it they deserve all the trolling they're getting because they're responsible for all the destruction going on in their cities right so they should be trolled by people who are bringing to the forefront the silliness and insanity of what these people allow and what they endorse Right. They, they think that what this guy is saying right now is, is so silly. Right. They, they can't stand it. But this is the exact same type of things that people that they capitulate to say and believe. So much police brutality in these last two years. And it sickens me every single bit of a mayor wheeler. You have done such a good job on cracking down on this. I cried myself to sleep when I realized that I could have stopped Brianna Taylor's killers. But what was I doing? I was shopping at Target.
I was shopping at Target. I work at Target. After I get off, I go spend my check there. It's a direct deposit. And then I go home and I cry myself to sleep every night because I couldn't stop Brianna Taylor's killers. <laughs> and another positive note is that George Floyd has been sober for two years now. Oh my God. And, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> we need to rethink communications, colleagues. <laughs> it's, it's really becoming a forum <laughs> for no apparent reason. It's un really unfortunate what's going on here. Nah, what's unfortunate is your city, bro. I, I would we not, need some parameters. In yeah, place. Not, not today, but I, I think as, as a council, we need to talk about this. This, <laughs> I, this is no longer productive. I agree. <laughs> Number 184, please. Yeah, so... These guys have been getting trolled into oblivion, right? And this was just the latest e example of them getting trolled. And, uh, you know, hey, if they don't like it, then why don't you fix your city, right? This stuff probably wouldn't happen if you, again, you weren't letting the criminals run the asylum. And if you didn't capitulate to all the woke nonsense that was basically being brought up to you guys. And that was the whole point of the trolling in the first place, right? Which is to demonstrate uh, the insanity that these people allow and endorse uh, in their city. So let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.